Asia nne marriage is a sacrifice. Sacrifice vipi? Umpende mtu zaidi kuliko unavyojipenda wewe mwenyewe. Ushaona mtu ankula gizeri lakini amnunulia mkewe chicken and chips. Kweli. Wewe unkula gizeri lakini mkeo ngoja niombe Sheikh Yusuf labda shafanye. Sheikh Yusuf usaona mtu yeye yeah, akaingia kibandani akala gizeri lakini akaenda KFC kumnunulia mkewe chips na kuku. <laughs> Mara kadha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sasa ndio naambia hawa S ya 4 ni sacrifice. Kwamba wewe unajinyima wewe unajinyima ili yeye apate. Ili yeye afurahike. Na vice versa. Vice versa. The best part of the meat mke hali yeye umwekea mumewe. The sweetest part of the cake it is reserved for the husband. Tumeona? Mara nyingine ikiwa chakula ni hicho hicho basi yeye atajifanya chakula kabla ya wewe ili ule wewe yeye anywe maji alale. So, kwa hivyo marriage is a, a sacrifice. And then the last is marriage is a standard. 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 There has to be a standard. <laughs> katika Uislamu <laughs> katika Uislamu <laughs> na Sheikh atanisaidia kuna kitu cha kufu huyu si kufu yako. Yeah. Can you explain it kidogo? Eh kufu unasema ni uweano yani kwamba mtu anafanana na wewe mnatukuana yani mnatukuana ndio maana. Yani usijitee katika dhiki ya kwenda kuingia mahali ambapo hauna mbawa na mbavu za kutosha kupambana na pale pale mahali ama umtukue binti ya watu ambaye amezoea maisha ya standard fulani hamwe ndani alafu wewe umlete katika ile standard ya ya chini anaweza kukubali kwa mapenzi ya siku mbili na siku tatu but remember love is never permanent it change, it changes with stage time ina change with with time kwa hivyo ndugu zangu nikah kulingana na rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has referred as half of deed kwamba kule kuoana ni kukamilisha nusu ya ya dini. Kwa hivyo mtu aweza kutafsiri ndoa kama nusu ya dini. Yaani marriage can also be defined as half of your religion. 50%. Ala 50% nyingine in the way you live with that marriage. Doing the marriage is half. The way you will live with that marriage is another half. Kwa sababu marriage is a way of of life. In a control every other life that you you live. Namsha. Sasa ukiwa wawili, watatu ama wende, sasa inakuwa subjective into proportion. Into proportion. But those proportions will always make up a 50% because though you have four wives but you are only one is about you not the wise yeah. ile sina sina kuongezea ngezea katikati zile yeah. na kile ukiongeza ndio unazidi kuwa karibu na Mungu si ndio yeah. mwenye kuswali faradhi peke yake na mwenye kuswali sunna nani yuko karibu na Mungu zaidi ah yeah. so kiswa ukiwa na mmoja uko uko chini compared ukuwe na ongeza ule Mungu amefikia rangi zote Ah, uh, ile 5. Ile ile 50% ya pili inakuwa ni social obligation. Islam considers marriage as a social obligation and an act which is greatly admired by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. See you to We are together, isn't it? Yes. So the social obligation ni kumaanisha the way you treat that marriage portrays an image outside your marriage and within your marriage inakupatia a statue very important kwanza inatengeneza self image yako self image yako self image yako ni kwamba how do people see you hasi ya pili inatengeneza self reputation yako yani ni vipi watu wengine wanakuangalia wewe tumeona and hasi ya tatu inakupatia self brand ina kupatia who are you self brand yani unajulikana ki kivipi kwa hivyo s ya kwanza ni kwamba inakupa wewe uh, sura za kwamba jamii inakutambua wewe ni mtu wa aina wa aina gani 
AC ya tatu ya pili inakupa wewe uwezo wa kujihisi vizuri. Nilipoingia mlikuwa mazungumza mambo ya peace, si ndio? Peace is a collection of attribute that ultimately provides you with life full of happiness. Peace, a peace is a collection of attributes. Yaani amani ni mchanganyiko wa sifa fulani ambazo mwisho hukupa wewe utulivu wa maisha yako. Sasa ile self esteem ni kwamba inakupa wewe utulivu wa kujihisi kwamba sasa umetimiza lile jukumu ambalo ni muhimu sana katika maisha ya ya mwanadamu. Mwanadamu lazima moyo wake uwe unatawaliwa na kitu. Ikiwa hautotawaliwa na kitu chochote moyo, we unakuwa empty, yani unakuwa bila ya kitu cha kukushikilia. Na moyo hutawaliwa zaidi na mapenzi. Kwa hivyo usipokuwa na mapenzi ya kihalali definitely utaenda katika mapenzi ya kiharamu kwa sababu moyo unahitaji yale mapenzi ili upate kutulia minus love the heart is empty Hasa watu wengine who substitute ile love ikawa ni love ya senti sawa sawa ikawa ni love ya madaraka ikawa ni... lakini zote hizi love zingine zinakuwa sheki the only love that gives you mawaddata wa rahma is the love that comes within the, the marriage. Sasa, na ndio unakuta kwamba marriage is the only natural relationship between a man and a woman. Natural. Natural ni kwamba iko biological. Yaani hakuna anayemfundisha mtu yoyote jinsi ya kuajimiana na mtu wa jinsi ya nafu. Hakuna mtu anayekwenda shule kufundishwa ama mmoja wenu hapa alikwenda shule akafundishwa to get more videos of abu shuraim don't forget to subscribe like and share may allah guide and bless the person who shares the videos